Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is a little bit different of an episode. Maybe not exactly what you're into, but we'll see. It'll be something I'll, I'll want to watch for sure. Because um, it's my son's birthday today. And uh, he wanted to go camping. Unfortunately, there's a nasty windstorm. And I have a, you know, a good tent. I and But I haven't tested it. It's a new tent and a new stove, a uh, new setup that's going to be for uh, just car camping with my wife and my kids or even solo if I just want to have a nice luxury camp instead of uh, packing things on the sled and heading out that way. So that's what I bought, uh, a little expensive. So we're testing it out today, even with this wind. In fact, I've got it set up right now, right behind me. Um, so right, right back there, I'll show you kind of what I got going on here um, but we're we don't have much in there except for the tent and the stove and then uh, we'll we'll start packing stuff in there a little bit later on I just want to see how this wind does it's 50 mile per hour gusts uh, sustained 35 mile per hour right now and it's holding up pretty good so far but uh, yeah let me fill you in check this out Yeah, this is a Berg Up 5. It's a double walled tent, kind of expensive. Well, very expensive. Not sure if I uh, like it or not yet. This is brand new. But I wanted to see how it would do in the wind. And I started off with just setting it up and then uh, staking out the sides and having, uh, having just that. And it did okay, um, but what I ended up noticing is just like in a lot of hot tents you really got to put snow underneath otherwise the wind was getting up under there and it was really moving the tent so then with that added on there it did a lot better but then really what you got to do is you got to guy these out and let me show you why hooking them up to these sections right here because there's a little elbow right inside this 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 tent folds all the way down and you pack it all up and it's it's an umbrella system or this part of it can actually collapse in and if it if that collapse in this structural integrity definitely fails it'll it'll stay good all the way up here all the way from here and all the way up because <clears throat> the umbrella system is actually tensioned at the top and inside but then at the bottom, you've got another little section all the way around that needs to pop out. So you can see on this one, if I press in, boom, it'll collapse just like that. So, and then it pops right back out. Now, I've been testing this right now with 50 mile per hour wind, wind gusts. I'll know if it's going to fail easily. And even without the tensioners, it really didn't have any problems dealing with it. However, um, this side was getting blasted directly coming up through the side of my house. And uh, that little wind tunnel was hitting that side. So that was the only one that failed without the tensioners on there or out without it being guyed out so yeah the plan right now i'm just gonna leave this up for i don't know maybe another hour or two just to see how it does in the wind i really just want to know how bad uh the stove will do i want to know if it's going to get rocked around real good it looks so far so good i'll keep you posted
Man, the snow's coming down. Kids are playing over back. And uh, kind of sledding down a little little tiny mini hole uh, hill we got. So, but yeah, snow's coming down real good. And uh, what's great is this, what I wanted to see, I like the dome shape because I wanted to see if this would just kind of slide down. And every so often, it just, it does that. So it fills up the sides there, um, around the outside, but it doesn't stay up top the whole time, uh, weighing it down. So that's the advantage of this style versus like uh, a box style. Uh, let's close that up. So basically what my plan is right now, um, I will just come back later on tonight. I'll let you know how things go. I'm not going to keep running out here to film and stuff like that, but I'll let you know kind of what I found and what I think is doing good and what isn't. So I'll bring you back tonight when we're in the hot tent. See you then. All right, started up the stove. Camden's still not in here yet, but I told him he had to wait for me to at least get this thing fired up. I'm actually gonna see how well we do with heat. Uh, I've had it on for about five minutes or so. Oh, well, we've already gained 20, 25 degrees. But, yeah, it fires right up in that stove, which is nice. Don't have everything buttoned up too much. You do need to uh, worry about getting air in. So I got this. You can't see it on the camera, but there's actually a little hole here that's getting air in. And uh, so that's feeding the fire some oxygen. And then I'll probably open up either that window or this window. Get a little breeze going in here because that or I'll just open up the door. I don't know. All right, I got this thing pretty much dampered all the way down. You know, there's not, you know, that's that's full, full bore. I got it down to that. That's what I've been leaving it at because... This heated up in about literally 10 minutes. There's no time flat. I even had to open this window because it's it's hot in here. I mean, it's even right next to the window, 70 degrees. I'm literally right next to the window with that. There's just no way. I don't know. I, I like the idea. They have one more size bigger than this for the large and you definitely don't need the large i i don't know if it's better for a little you get a little bit more cooking surface because it's a little bit wider about two inches wider and that's it other than that you get a little more space down below i think an inch or two down below and so you got a little bit bigger foot you know uh box for all your your wood but you get two inches of cooking space and that's it. Other than that, you do not need the extra heat. This is what we have for space. <laughs> Here's a cot. There's a lot of floor space. For reference space, that's a huge cot right there. That's one. That's the REI. Uh, I forget Kingdom cot. They're they're huge. And I can fit two more side by side. And then there's me, and there's a table. If you want three people in here, you got to take that table away, move it into the middle somewhere. You put a cot there, and then you shift me up, and I'd be going right here. And then you'd have a space to come in and out, and then somebody's sleeping right there too. Um, I personally think that's probably the best seat in the house, looking at that fire all night. Most people, I don't know why, they, they like to have it turned, face, you know, have the whole firebox instead of going this way. They want to turn it that way. And, uh, I don't know, then you can't see as well. Granted, you can't see anything right now either because I just started up the fire a little bit ago. And what happens, all the soot hits the glass real quick. But after, I don't know, maybe an hour or so of burn time... That should start to recede a little bit. All right, so we're in here. Just made the boys their dinner. 
hanging out in here with Daddy. Mommy's coming back in a second. Yep. Yeah, Camden. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Everybody, if you want to, you, you could, if you want to see more video, subscribe. Okay. Yeah, subscribe to our channel. And then uh, over here, oh yeah, this is the steaks. These are T-bone steaks that I got from the uh, the cow I purchased from a local farmer. And I uh, had them cut them extra thick. Oh, look at the marbling. That's going to be so good. Got my uh, got my seasoning I'll be throwing on it. Okay. And, uh, fire. and we're going to cook them right here. So, fire's doing great. Ooh, she's red hot now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. But you know what's also real good? This bread. Just baked. And it's going to slap up that mess right there. That's how you get rid of all the juice and stuff off of there. You just put a piece of bread on there. It looks gross when you uh, flip this thing over. But, man, is it tasty. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Camden. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Camden. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh no! Well, a little update. Still running good on the stove here. Got the uh, damper pretty closed, so it's not killing the wood supply. It's taking quite a bit of time, probably another hour or so, hour and a half since I've had to put wood in there. Um, had to open up the top of the door there. Still a little bit too hot. Still got the window open right over top of this thing. We're sitting at 92 degrees. 16 degrees outside, and that's all Fahrenheit. Wow. Camden's been... He's trying to do the worm. He's trying to do the worm. Wow, look yeah. at this. This is how much room you have in here for activities, guys. So much room for activities. Look at this. This is activities. This is hardcore parkour right now. Yeah. My son wants to be a break dancer. But I told him he had to be far away from the stove. So he's he's over here break dancing. <laughs> Look at this. It's like his his bed got bigger, more comfy, and a lot more heat. <laughs> All at once. Are you comfy, Cam? Yeah. And more you... and bigger. Yeah. And all toasty. All toasty? Good. Good night everybody. Oh, I heard that. I got that on camera, dude. What do you say? Stinky. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. Woke up. I had this thing burn all night. It's got so many coals in there, though. And uh, I just pulled everything. Hey, Hold on, buddy. I'm explaining something. Give me one sec, okay? Pulled all the coals, put another thing of wood in there, and then just opened up the front to full more here. And uh, within two seconds, it was uh, back to 85 in here. <laughs> Last night, got down to uh, 5 degrees. And the hottest we had it in here last night at middle of the tent not the top of the tent but the middle it was a hundred degrees it was ridiculous uh throughout the night the lowest it got in the hot tent was 25 degrees which i think that's just because it's reading 25 degrees from uh when i had the thermometer out here i um i didn't have the fire going yet 
So I think it's just reading that. So I don't really know what the actual low temperature was for last night inside the hot tent. Because I don't think it was ever 25. Because I did not sleep. Look, this is what I did. I just had my quilt. Just my quilt. Bear on this. And I slept with my arms out of my, um, my, basically my whole upper body. This was just, this was just over my legs, but I had my whole upper body and everything exposed and outside of that. Um, so there's no way that it was 25 degrees in here at any time. And I was warm all night. I, anytime it start to die down, I'd get a little chill, wake up, throw another log on there and be good for another, you know, two hours sometimes. Uh, coming up right next is my initial impressions of the tent. So stay tuned for that if you care. All right, guys, I'm back. So uh, obviously uh, Camden and I had some breakfast this morning, went to church, and now I'm back. And, uh, you know, I just want to go over. This is, this is the part of the video that's more of my initial impressions of this tent setup and kind of my thoughts on it. It's not a review. I really don't like to call anything a review until I've actually used it more than, you know, even a handful of times. I really like to know the material before I decide to do a review. But uh, this is my initial impressions and kind of my thoughts on it. All right, let's start on the outside here. Um, this tent is the Up 5. I have a wood stove in there, which I will get to later. The uh, Caminus, I believe is how you would pronounce it. And it's the medium size. Um, so the tent on the outside has some pretty cool features uh, that I really like. First of all, it's it's got two doors. One on this side and one on the far side. And uh, the far side actually has the stove jack right next to it. So it's nice to get the wood to go in and out on that side. And then use this as your main door. Something I did not attach to it <clears throat> is there's these Velcro parts, and inside, here I'll even show you it, right in there, that is a door that just swings open and shut. I did not attach that, I don't need to showcase that, you can see that on almost every YouTuber shows that, and it's, it is a nice feature, I do like it. Um, but yeah, so what I notice is you get you get these um, you get six of them with this. I don't know if it's a mistake because I actually have eight spots that I really need to tie down. Every single one of these has the bar in there, and when you want to stake stake something out, you really got to have it staked out for super high winds all the way around and you'd want really just two more is all I'd need and I'd be all set but I have these all kind of tied up right here and they give you these they really give you everything you need um, so those are the tie outs it's nice they've also got windows and uh, this one has two and what's nice about it is you actually have this little piece here that folds in and out so you can actually wow that's still warm yeah, it's still warm in there um, but you leave this this open and it it lets air out but nothing can get in uh, as far as precipitation so if it's snowing out and you still want to vent it's really nice Nice little feature. Here's the other door. And here's the stove jack. So this I was a little bit disappointed in. Because as of right now, it's still got some heat. Um, I had to figure this out the hard way. There's this flap right here. And you can see, I hope. Hope you can see I just got it nicked before I realized it but what you got what you want to do take that velcro and put it 
set it up on it like that so that way you don't get any any other parts exposed all right so this is the inside and uh i'll try and show you how much space you got in here because that's the one thing in a lot of videos people want to know that's a a kingdom cot by rei kingdom cot 3 it's another one and uh that's uh 27 inches i believe is what it is 27 inches by 27 inches and plenty of room for all your wood you can actually i did this just lackadaisically but you can put all your wood behind here where i'm just have my extra piece here and uh that's the front that goes on this so you got plenty of room you got pockets that go all the way around this thing and believe it or not those are extremely useful they're great for putting drinks in there when you want to set it by your by your bed while you're hanging out and then these you can take down or you can keep up and that's really handy feature uh, because you can you can really store whatever you want in there but yeah they're all right quality not too bad and then they have these hooks that go all the way around the outside which is how I have my string lights set up and then at the top I have it going through a string light up here I added this light in here and then you've got a place to put your gloves or whatever you want to dry out you put anything up there they'll be dry in a matter of minutes it gets so hot up there and then this is the inside of these windows so it's nice you just do this and it keeps it open the other things that I really like about it is it it makes it super easy for setup because they give you this you set you set your stove up here this is already on there and it's on velcro so if you want you can change change this out which I really like and they give you a pretty good size jack I mean that's this is a big big pipe and uh, it it's got plenty of space around it you can roll these up you know a little toggles same thing on the outside so it feels way more safer like in my other setups there was always a wind that would come by and pfft, there it is now I got a bunch of burn holes as far as ventilation is concerned you also have this you can see it goes through and it goes out I don't know I hope you can see that but there is airflow coming in here and that feeds the fire right there Obviously with the doors, you got your outside door and your inside door. And if you are using this you uh, in the summer, this is a bug net portion I have tied back. I don't really see a point in needing that ever for me. So I don't think I'll use this in the summer. Um, but I don't know that for sure. I also have a floor that zips all the way up. I have to give them a knock on this though. When I got this, you can tell that zipper is not going all the way. This bead's already coming off right here. So I'm gonna have to unzip this entire floor and re-zip it on there because uh, they didn't do a great job when they first set it up. So I'm not happy about that. Especially for the price you pay, you expect, I at least I expect pretty much perfection. So um, that's one that's that's one thing that I didn't like and then this is the other thing where this pipe comes through here and I, I will show you this there's there's two walls you've got this one and then you got the next layer and they each have this ring going around it and there's actually a a metal piece fixed to that it's not just it's not just a um, fabric which I like however this hole and the next layer hole are not perfectly lined up that could be a mistake I don't know for sure but if it's not a mistake 
The only thing I can think of is it's to try to pincer this pipe and keep it from being able to move any which way. You can see this. This is what is in between. This is what, what holds it all together. And this is not a piece that's, um, you know, it's not a, a cylinder like this, right? It's actually one solid piece. So it's got a lot of strength. I have pretty, to put this up, you got to actually have quite a lot of strength to put that thing up to get these to actually deploy. And when I was doing it the first time, man, I was cranking on it. And uh, nothing broke, nothing bent. I mean, it's just solid, very solid. All right, let's look at this stove. I am going to tell you right up front, it's an amazing stove. I mean, this thing, this thing is excellent. Um, I, I could not be happier with how well it performed. I will go into more detail on this when I do a, a proper review of hot tent stoves in general because I really think people need to see the pros and cons to different types. But I want to show you just a couple things that I like about it. So we'll start off with we'll start off with how big this thing is. This is 19 inches long, so I can put full size. I didn't have to cut those logs up. They're regular size. All I had to do was chop them down because I didn't want huge logs going in. Cooking space is not too bad. Pretty good. Uh, it's, I don't know how wide or, or how tall, but you can look those specifications up. I'm not going to spout all that out. But I do like the length. The length worked out really, really well. The other thing that I like is they've got these barriers here. So that heat, that stops the heat from coming out and actually burning anything this way you still get the radiant heat coming in between and coming out but it protects you if you're sitting real close to it you're not going to accidentally rub on on it and hurt yourself they've also got the same thing on this side and this has a window just like this so that's a window and that's a window you take this off and you can see on both sides. See, I took that one off on this side to give me this this view here. Uh, this radiates heat like no other. And I do want to tell you, this is made kind of ugly with some of its some of its uh, welding, but it's made for function. I didn't have any smoke. None. Zilch. Nada. No smoke. Completely airtight. They even... Check this out. They even make that airtight. And all you get is the air coming down in here. So it's got a baffle right there. So nothing's popping out. I love it. Older models do not have this, this setup. And they had one that you pop off and pop back on. It kind of stunk. So I made sure I found the right manuf right distributor, I should say, that had this model, the, the updated version, versus the older ones that you get. So these are the screws to uh, lock these in. The other addition that they have on this newer model, they got the... The pan, so they give you this for all your ash. You dump it on this, and then you can chuck it out, which, is, which I did have to do because um, I did do a burn-in besides yesterday. So I did a burn-in, tested that out, emptied everything out, and then ran this again yesterday with, with my son. So the uh, the pipe is really well done. What I really like about the pipe, um, which I can't really show you too well. Actually, I can show you down here. All of their connections, anything that slides on and off, has this perforated edge. And what that does, that my other stoves don't have, 
is it allows it to open and close, right? It doesn't get stuck on there. Well, they got that same feature on all their connection points. So each pipe has that same thing all the way up so it won't get stuck, which I'm I'm really happy about because I've had trouble with uh, my winter well getting the pipes off. Now, there is one thing that I don't like, and that's this. So look, this is my water well. It's got a pipe that goes through. You can kind of see, maybe, there's a pipe right there that's going through, and then this is the cutout inside. And it's 12 liters. They sell a 7 liter, but it's only for the small stove with a smaller pipe. So you can't use it. You don't need 12 liters. It's just huge for no reason. And because it's attached to that and you can't do anything about it, once it's on there, your your water heats up and then it just steams, which can be nice when you need some water in the tent and the moisture in the air. But, um, you know, it would work so much better if they just took the winter well idea where it would attach to this, go around the, the pipe, and then you could take it off and set it down. It also would help with refills, because I really didn't like, you know, trying to put water in there right over a hot stove. It just kind of made me a little nervous. But, yeah, I, that was a waste of money. They got me on that. I don't think I'll be using it again. Not unless I got, you know, six guys... We're all going camping and we all plan to use that same one. Maybe then it's worth it. I don't know. All right, here's the top of the stove. This is another big highlight for me. So air does not go in. It doesn't go in that way. And there's no holes. There's no holes to soak up the soot and then block air from getting in. It's just open. I hated that about my winter well. You, I don't know how many times I, I would have uh, all the holes for where the spark arrestor is get filled up. And then uh, there's no airflow. And all of a sudden you get smoke in your tent. So this, this is an awesome, awesome setup. Really like this one. This is the other feature that I like. You can tell that is blocking. You can't see in there. That's a baffle that runs. All the way down here, a little piece of metal leaves the end open. And this way, as you burn, I would watch. The front would burn. All the uh, air would come in, heat this all up, and it would slowly burn all the way to the end. And the air, or the, uh, the fire, the heat, is going this way, heating all that up. And then coming back and heating all this back up too. And then going out. That also gives it enough time. I never had any embers coming out of my stove. Alright guys, so that's kind of everything that I see for an initial impression. Um, I mean, to, if I were to sum it all up, this has a lot of features. It's got everything you need really. Uh, it's stable. It's reliable. Um... The stove is probably the most standout. I really, really, really like the stove. Uh, other than, obviously, that one. I would not waste your money on that. Other than that, the stove's excellent. Really don't have any complaints. So, yeah. We'll see. I'm, I'm going to be taking this with my wife in a couple weeks. We're going to do a couple nights in the woods. So, stay tuned for the channel for that. And uh, see how that goes. Because... Uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited for that one. But I think we're going to have a good time. So, anyway, hey, thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody. Uh, I know I was looking for some more information when I was looking into these. And uh, I'm sure more information will come out when I actually do a proper review. But as of right now, my initial impressions, good to go.